Okay, so just going to look at um, convergence between fortnightly, weekly, monthly, and annual incomes. All right, so annual actually just means a year, and also um, PA also means per annum. So that means per annum, and per annum is for a year, just in case you see that language. So if you're given your weekly income and you want to get to your yearly, you have to times by how much you earn in a week. Uh, and if you, I'm sorry, you have to times by 52. So how much you earn in a week, you times by 52. And if you want to go back to weekly, you divide by 52. Because in one week, one, sorry, one year, one year is 52 weeks. If you're going from fortnight to annually, then you have to times by 26. But if you're going backwards, you divide by 26. Because there are 26 fortnights in a year. Why 26? Because if you do 52 divided by 2, because 52 weeks, there are two weeks, um, two weeks in a fortnight. So if you divide the 52 by 2, you get 26. So there are 26 fortnights. There are 26 fortnights um, in one year. Okay. So <clears throat> now if you look at monthly, you want to go from monthly to annually. Monthly you times by 12, and when you're going back to per month, you divide by 12. Because that means, because in one year, there are 12 months. Now, just to be aware of this, there are not, there is not, um, there are not four weeks in a month. Because every month, there's different days. So there's one with 28, some with 30, some with 31. Okay. So four weeks is four times seven, which is 28 days. So there are not exactly four weeks in a month. So the problem here is that, you know, if you were given a week, right, and say your week was $80 and you wanted to get how much for one month, then you can't simply times that by four weeks, like by four. What you need to do is you get the $80 and you times by 52. Because when you do that, what you do is you get it for one year. So if you did 18 times the 52, you end up with 4,160. And that's for one year. Okay, now I know it's not very much because I only did it on 80. Um, sorry, uh, so you get 50, 80 isn't very much for a week. And then if you want to get for one month, if you get 4160 and you divide it by um, 12, because there are 12 months in a year, that makes it a lot easier for you to get it for. Uh, so you divide by 12 to get how much for one month. So one month would be 346.66. So further on that, what you're actually doing is first of all, if you've got one week and you wanna get one month, you times by 12 and that would give you it for one year. And then you get the one year, sorry, what times by, not by 12. You times by 52 and that will give you for one year and then divide by 12 and that would give you for one month. Now you can also do this if you've got one month you can times by 12 to get for one year and then if you've got one year you just simply divide it by 52 to get for one week. That would be going back to a week. Okay so just um, last finally what's on a salary is how much you earn for a year. It's usually paid um, like weekly or fortnightly or monthly. 
could be any of those. Now, it's with the with the salary you get no overtime. You do get sick pay and holiday pay and stuff like that, but you get no overtime. Whereas a rate wage has an hourly rate. Um, you have a fixed number of hours each week, and then you do get paid overtime if you work extra hours and also if you work on a public holiday. So if we work on a public holiday.